are busy tonight. The latest gun violence victim is a teenager. A gunman shot the boy in the 3000 block of North 6th Street, one of at least 11 shootings across the city Saturday and Sunday. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is live at police headquarters with all of the details. Matt. Joe, gun violence here in Philadelphia truly has no regard for a victim's age. A 16-year-old boy was injured in what appears to be a drive-by shooting. An 8-year-old boy was also hurt, but fortunately we saw him walking around earlier this evening just fine. Yeah, pretty lucky. We're blurring his face to protect his identity, but police say this eight year old boy was outside playing here on North 6th Street in North Philadelphia when someone in a car started shooting just before six o'clock Sunday night. A bullet hit the windowsill of a house and some of the debris grazed the eight year old's back. He's doing OK now, but during that shooting, a 16 year old boy was hit in his leg. That teen is now trying to recover while police interview neighbors they heard multiple shots. Just a few doors down, this prayer overlooks the block. It reads, Jesus, I trust in you. Neighbors here say much of Philadelphia could use prayer after another bloody weekend. Since the weekend started, at least 11 people were shot in Philadelphia streets in various parts of the city like 23rd Street and St. Albans Place in the Graduate Hospital section of Philadelphia. That's where 39-year-old William Wright was shot six times just before 3.30 Sunday afternoon. He's now fighting for his life. I'm hoping he'll be fine. His mother, in disbelief, didn't want to show her face, but says the father of one was coming home from work when she heard a barrage of bullets. Turned itself in. Turn yourself in. It didn't make sense to do it this way. The recent increase in gun violence had Mayor Jim Kenney out walking the streets of West Philadelphia Saturday night, calling for people to put down their weapons. We've been having an uptick in violence, an uptick in homicides. Obviously, it's been, it's been very, very depressing and frustrating. And police tell us that they're working as many leads as they have, but so far there have been no arrests in this weekend shootings. Reporting live at Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Matt, thank you for that report. And